everyone, my name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today the Bible title is 21 chapter David and the brave David the brave boy. Chapter 1 Samuel 4 Samuel 17 Come on, come out, said the Goliath, the giant. Come on out and fight with me. The Israel were frightened, fighting with the Palestines. Goliath was the strong Palestine soldier. So King Samuel and the Israel soldiers were scared. I will fight with Goliath, said the David. David brought the food from for his brothers. They were the soldier in King Saul's army. David was mad because Goliath was making fun of God's army. You're a young boy. Goliath is a giant soldier. King Saul said, I protect my sheep from the lions and bears. God will be with me. King Saul gave his armor to David. But it was too big and heavy to wear. David stood before Goliath. He had stones and sling in his hand. Goliath was upset to see a young boy, David. Stones and sling? Do you think I am a puppy? I come before you in the name of the Lord. You made fun of God's army, didn't you? I will let the world know that Goliath, God is alive. God doesn't need a sword or a spear, said David. David put a stone in his sling. He let the stone fly. The stone hit Goliath's forehead and fell to the ground. David ran to Goliath and took his sword. David won. You're a very brave, you're a very brave boy, David. King Saul said King Saul, David was very brave. Everybody said David was brave. But David knew God helped him. 22 chapter God good friend David and Jonathan Chapter 1 Samuel 18 King Saul saw David defeat the Palestine's army. King Saul knew David loved God. King Saul knew David was brave. Jonathan was King Saul's son. Jonathan loved God too. Prince Jonathan liked David with all his heart. Jonathan loved David as he loved himself. Jonathan promised David that he will be his best friend. Jonathan gave him a nice things. Jonathan gave David his best sword. sword. Jonathan also gave David his bow and arrows. Jonathan gave David his nice jacket. This will let people know that you are my friend. 
thank you for giving me your precious things. Then, thank you for being my best friend, said David. David became an honorable general of Israel. He won many battles. The Israel sang for David. King Saul killed thousands, but David killed tens of tens of thousands. This made King Saul mad and jealous. King Saul tried to harm David, but Jonathan helped David to run away from King Saul. Chapter Twenty Three: The Wise King Solomon. Chapter One: Kings. Three, chapter Three: Hooray! King Solomon shouted the people. Solomon became a new king of Israel. Solomon loved God and obeyed David's teaching. Teaching. Solomon worshipped God with the thousand animals at. Gibeon, but New Solomon loved God. New Solomon loved him. God told him in his dream, "Ask for anything what you want, Solomon." Solomon asked God, "I want." To know the difference between right and wrong, please give me the wisdom. God was pleased with his answer. Solomon didn't ask for help, well, and didn't ask for long life. He asked for wisdom. I will give you wisdom. I will make you rich, and I will make you live long if you follow me. God bless Solomon. One day, two mothers came to Solomon. This is my boy, B. This is my baby. He said. One mother, no, this is my baby. Said another. We live in the same house. We both have babies. One of the babies died during the night. And so she switched the babies. Two mother are good. King Solomon said, "Bring me a sword." The king's men were confused, but they brought the sword. The king ordered. The living baby in half and give half to one and half to another. No, said the baby's real mother, was heartbroken. Don't kill the baby. Just give to the living baby to her, said the mother, crying. Good, said another mother. So King Solomon got to know. Who is the real mother? Don't kill the baby. Give the baby to the crying mother. Our king is very wise. The people was amazed. The people of Israel respect King Solomon. King Solomon ruled Israel with God's wisdom. The Israel lived happily and peacefully in Solomon's days. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? It? Next time I will read twenty four chapter, the beautiful house of God, chapter one, Kings five to eight. Yes, today I think I have read two three stories maybe. Yes, then next time I will read another story and come with another stories. Yeah. Then like maybe I can read three stories next time. Then let's see you next time. Bye.